Oh man, you know how many times I've thought about being gay? <laughs> <laughs> This is a six Yeah, my piece. man, gay is a nice life, bro. Yeah. I wouldn't want to date Donald. What? What? <laughs> feels like a lot of admin. <laughs> <laughs> now I must come in red shorts at the house. Yeah, to, now it's match. We've got a match. I can see Donald make us match. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, who's your top three? Looks like he's zip uh, My top three, mm. like good-looking brews. <laughs> what? Top yeah. three, good-looking brews. Um... Uh, uh, Jamie Fox. After the stroke or before the stroke? Yeah! <laughs> 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 this one? After I smoke weed with, with Eric, I was like, ah, life is different. Like, she just had uh, another vibe. Now I'm like, yo, can't go back to smoking weed with Deleuze. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs>Oh, nice, nice. You must tell him I say good luck. Yeah. Mm. You know, you also watch um, Zilla's podcast. Yeah. yeah oh, this is spreading lies. It's trying to spread. You. No, we're trying to call spreading users. I mean, what is it? I don't know. Zilla's got yeah. long teeth. They live in a gated community. He's spreading his teeth. It's come together. And they like repeat shoes, yeah. Everyone repeats. Every week, same shoe. Same like shoe. Two, size three, size four. Mm. Zilla looks like he can bite in advance. <laughs> Amazing. Who's the who's the which one? Who's the chick next to Zilla with the edges that aren't connected to the forehead? Mm. Can you see that? It's like hair, space, mm. and then an edge. Yeah. Is it a sideburn or an edge? Hey. Mm. It's like two yeah. eyebrows next to each other. <laughs> Let's start the app again so that we can see the things because they write Zilla and then they say coast, coast. Oh, okay. Shame. Oh, is that the other coast, the one on the on the right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can see she's wearing mm. mid-month hair because she's moving her head, but the hair's not moving. Mm. It's just still Zanky. like she just said no, and the hair just stayed. Mm. I thought I was the only one that noticed that. It's not a what's going on. But Zilla's putting them on, Shane. The one next to Zilla. Didn't she used to present a show on SABC one called Shift? No, she was on she's shift. And an ail blind did that show. Hey, I'm fine. You know this is she's not. Maybe these people weren't born, dog. <coughs> All these people are born after the World Cup. I thought this thing is stuck again. Did you keep pausing or what? is it live or it's just take a taking? Uh, okay, well, if I could, I miss my father. Comfort your friend. I miss my father. <laughs> Let's just leave phones. Man. But this thing's take a taking, boy. How are we gonna not be on our phones? Can, can, can we take a break? Can, can we take a break? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl and I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See our dollar story. Pets and my guests are nice and moy. You and my bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you all boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call a boy boy like friends like these. Popcorn and chill episode 20. Hey, this one. Ah, yeah. Ah, yes. Who do you invoice? <laughs> 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 Yo.
<laughs> Let's go. Hey, Balkan Ishii's episode 29. Uh, cameras rolling. Yeah. Sound rolling. rolling. And action. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Who chose this one? Bruh, how crazy is it that we've got Blanca to do the clapping? Ah. Oh, so brilliant. Yeah, I was going to say Super Saiyan 35, but... Who chose this one? Ah! Don't you see just come dressed like they're at school? <laughs> <laughs> you know the gift that had all the things in the basket. Yeah. Nine nine cake and candy sale. Uh-huh. She got ready in a lucky packet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an open sherbet. Ah. Uh, 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 but that hair is giving Trinko pop. Eh? <laughs> yo yo yo. <laughs> like the evil villain in Smurfs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It's like a strawberry flavored mango. <laughs> uh, guys. Uh, guys. It's AI bro. AI. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> cheese boys, cheese girls and the cheese, cheese gang. gang. Shout out to Red Rose our club aboard. Uh cheese boys, cheese girls and the cheese gang. Hey. Welcome. To yet another episode yes, of sir. the popcorns and the cheeses, yes. <laughs> or as the clever bot said, popcorn and chill. Listen, Talk. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, one mistake. One. You had one job. One job. You had one, one job. One color. I, one job. Red. Oh, are you ready? Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another episode of popcorn and cheese. Before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this time to acknowledge the legend mm-hmm. that is the one and only. From Le Bois home. Yep. Rocking his flip-flops. Which one is this one? Toenails out. The Beyonce. Ladies and gentlemen, he was in his hometown in Limpopo last week mm. and you should have seen how happy he was. Please put your digital hands together. Make some noise for the Beyonce of the group. Titi. Chumere. The Bambere. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, a man who was dancing with DJ Maporisa on stage at the Delicious Festival. A man who wakes up in the morning and eats his cereal with Flavortron Mofire. Ladies and gentlemen, it is rumored that he charges his phone and himself at night. I'm talking about the one and only Robot Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Mzim Buli. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And of course, we are led by the leadership, the one who steers the ship and takes us on different routes like the way Maps does. And not Google Maps, nor Maps Maponyane. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Maps Maponyane, localike himself, president of the Yellow Bones. Which one is this the one? The stand-up comedian who is outstanding. Mpo Pops. Morikwane. Yeah. 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 Jesus. So you are serious about this thing that whenever you look like Maps Maponyane? Maps Mapanyani looks like me. I like. <laughs> so ask, ask, this man is handsome, dog. But ask. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Titi? We're no nice. Titi, what are you trying? You're good looking. You're nice, handsome. But handsome and good looking are the same thing. Oh, we're not advertising Nivea. Uh-uh, but I did Vaseline. <laughs> oh, what? Right. <laughs> You're more of a don guy, you know. <laughs> Gentle magic, yamfa. <laughs> Kamfa. <laughs> hands, knees, heels and so, elbows. Talking about hands, knees and elbows. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> our guest today. <laughs> How long is the <this> show? <laughs> <laughs> you guys in your Robert Marawa intros. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we are in the presence of greatness. Yeah. Yeah. One of the greatest minds to ever hit comedy in South Africa, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting with Comic of the Year. Mm-hmm. Not only that, best friends with Trevor Noah. Ah, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Ah. Pharrell Williams. C.T. Mm-hmm. Chumeric. And of course, Toles Moore. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please <laughs> put your hands together. <laughs> the one and only, Robbie Collins! <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Ah, I had a man himself. Thank you for having me, guys. Yo, nice to meet. I want to know how did that booty Lolo fit in this chair? Uh-uh. 
<laughs> Which one is this one? That's always the yeah, question. To move some like, assets. Everybody around. knows. It's impossible. Everybody asks about him. Sure. Otherwise, Robert. Good, my man. Bro, there are people watching this right now thinking, you know, who is this handsome colored guy? So, yeah. So, if you could look at that camera, you know, all our cheese gang uh, is, is watching. This one? Yeah. They mm. just want to know who is this handsome, long colored guy in the chair. Please tell us what your name is and what it is you do for a living. Hi, I am Robbie Collins. I am a comedian, writer, and actor. <laughs> and Trevor Noah's friend. Aint! 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 What and I'm from you? Durban. Mm-hmm. Yo. I'm just letting people know this because corporate season's coming up and it's, you don't need to fly me down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a comedian. I know I know these gentlemen. Uh, poor, you and I started at like, the same time, man. Eh? Same time, bro. Same time. 2008, yeah. 9? Yeah, I was 9. I was 9. Say it, Titi. Mm. Before World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were thinking of careers before World Cup. <laughs> so wanted, how old are you now? I, mean, I wanted to be a soccer player. Ah! I'm I'm 30. You're 30 years old. Yeah. Hey. Yo. Yeah. You young, bruh. Yeah. He's young, bruh. Yeah. You don't know like life, life. Mm-mm. No, no, no. You don't know like you know back in the day. Remember when you had internet? Internet still started coming out. Do you know like if you had a house court, your internet stopped. Like you couldn't have house internet. call like when they you call your landline. Like if somebody called the landline, your internet stopped. Mm. Yo, this is where were you living? Did living? you know this? No, but he's also from Lebanon, so he only so explains internet is, now. <laughs> also, landlines now. You know, like your cell phone. This chat is relevant like now in Lebanon. <laughs> I went there. The first time I saw a phone was those boxes, the CLC. Which one is this one? Prepaid. Boxes where you put a two rand and then you can call for like 30 seconds. By the containers? Yeah. You, you mean the public f- phone? Yeah. That's the and then a cell I've phone? Never, I've never had a house phone, like a landline. And then never. a cell phone? Uh, Alcatel. My grandmother's Alcatel. Maybe. Or, or Ericsson or something like that. But it's a true story. Rob, so <laughs> where did you start your journey in comedy as a comedian? And uh, <laughs> Why did you ask me like this? You don't want to know. Ah, this I was sad when just listening to you. <laughs> I wanted to help. <laughs> How do I send like eight times? I feel like, I feel like we, should, need data. we should do a GoFund for Limpopo. <laughs> no, actually, they started a hashtag justice for TT on the live comments. Is it? Yeah, yeah from the last episode. People don't realize that Titi is like this. They think we attack Titi. Oh. He doesn't, they don't know he encourages this thing. They don't know that Titi is like this. Yes. This, this is, as you, what you see is what you get. Robbie, how is Devin feeling? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's a good place. That place. Tell us about Durban's Devin. Durban's great, my man. Yeah. Durban's great. Only thing with Durban is, because you know, the, also global warming is a thing now, eh? Global warning. Global warning. And Remember water. when we were kids, when they used to talk about global warming, when we were in school, we would sound like something our, our great-grandkids would experience. Yeah. And you don't think it's a thing now. Right now. Now, my man, yo, Durban, bruh. It's crazy. It's, uh, the beach was flooding this week. Now there's a storm coming. Indians are panicking in <laughs> Durban, <bruh. laughs> Where? How did we get there? <laughs> Why am I alone? How did we get there, dog? Like, <laughs> is everyone else calm? <laughs> Everyone's like, calm, man. <laughs> I, like, I hear the black people don't know what global warning. Warning. All right, all right, come back, come back. Yeah, look, global warning. I see how the global warning. No, no, the other side. Oh my God! Oh my goodness. So, why, why were the Indians panicking? Because, because if you know Durban, it's Zulu people and Indian people. Yeah. Mm. And then there's colored people. I think a lot of people don't even realize that there are colored people in Durban, bruh. Because you guys speak Zulu. Yes, but you know how many times I'm in Joburg and people say, when are you going back to Cape Town? Then I'm like, when I have a gig. Because <laughs> <laughs> they think you're from there. Yeah, bruh. They think my whole family's from Cape Town. Many people think that colored people only come from Cape Town. Bro, that's the thing in South Africa, right? We associate the colored community with being from either Cape Town or yes. Northern Cape, Kimberley, all those, uh, all those, all those places, and 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 obviously Joburg, Aldo's, Westbury, yeah. Annadale, Westenbeck. Because Durban colors don't. <laughs> which where? Which area in Westenbeck? Westenbeck, 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 Limpopo. Colored people, 
Yes. In yes. Western yes. Berg. It's, it's our colored area. Yeah. Oh, it's Western Berg. Yeah, Western Berg. So you guys took Westbury and, then and you combined said it with Rustenburg. Rustenburg. Westenburg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's curling that side. So so what what South Africans don't realize is that there's a there's this large community of colored people from Durban, right? Yes. And Durban colored people are, and I might be mistaken, are like the only colored people that don't speak Afrikaans in the country. Yeah. Afrikaans is not spoken in Durban, bruh. Black, white, colored, Indian, we all failed that thing together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we all failed that thing. No one speaks that language. Collectively. Like, oh, collectively, bro. No one speaks. I've never heard Afrikaans. I was ever. blown away when I came to, when I did a show in Bloom, bro. Black people speaking Afrikaans. I was blown away by that thing. Because like for us, like Durban colored slang is mixed with Zulu. Yes. Yeah. Cape colored slang, it's like Afrikaans, English. Uh -huh. But like we don't understand Afrikaans at all, bro. And you know who gets upset with you the most is colored people because they think you're trying to be better than them. We, do, oh, we yeah. don't speak Afrikaans back to them. You don't respond like, in Afrikaans. Hey, say me, bro. Hey, All those things. Then I'm like, I'm talking about the English. Hey, I'm talking about the English. One thing, if you don't know Afrikaans and you're speaking to Cape Colors, just sound Afrikaans. Don't have to say Afrikaans <laughs> words. It's like, no, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you sound? <laughs> English in an Afrikaans accent and tone. Promise you, my man. That was so funny. I don't know what you're saying, bro. I don't know what you're saying, bro. No, no, let's go. You got a bunny. I'm not sure what you guys are saying, bro. <laughs> so, growing up, bro, you just you spoke Zulu. You spoke. My father's black English. Zulu from Ishawe. Uh -huh. Grew up in Ishawe, Zulu land. Spoke Zulu. But then this is because I'm 36. We're the first generation sure. who went to white schools. Yeah. So our parents were like trying to make us learn white people things. Yeah. So then my father stopped speaking Zulu at home. So Zulu's only only was spoken at home when we were in trouble. So of course. Zulu was only like it's a <laughs> negative thing in my head. <laughs> it's a disciplinary. Yes, language. when I hear Zulu, I'm like, ah, let's make my bed. <laughs> Even if I'm in a club, right? If I hear Zulu, I'm like, ah sh <laughs> I need to make up my bed. Yeah, but because Zulu, that's how I heard a camper advert on the radio, on the Zulu radio station. It felt like it was instruction. Tenga <laughs> camper right now. <laughs> they said right now. Right now. Konamanji. How fluent is your Zulu, bro? It's bad. I'm trying to relearn it. Also, I moved back to Durban now. Yeah. So it's because I'm like, I want the folks are getting old. I'm like, let's be around the family. Mm. But my Zulu is still sketchy, man. I can understand. And if I'm around it long enough, then I start speaking. But otherwise, like, I'm just that person who understands it and then replies in English. I don't. Speaking about growing up in Durban and, and, and you know, going back, um, you, you, were a high school or primary school dropout? Jesus, if I dropped out of primary school, I would be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which no one drops out of primary, primary school and I've makes it in life. Primary yeah. That's, true. That's too young. That's true. You're trying to say about our president. Uh, Which one? Uh, ah, this one? Uh, uh, Which one? Mandela? Titi. Mandela. Mandela Mandela's educated. He was a lawyer. He was a lawyer. Though. Where? <laughs> uh, Doc Mandela was Oh, Tambo used to have a law firm That's how yeah. he met Mandela Mandela's a qualified lawyer He got, got one of the first person really qualified And then 27 years Where do you think he got the name <laughs> Nelson? He was his lawyer for 27 years <laughs> Couldn't represent himself <laughs> ah, 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 ah. This man was crushing rocks for 27 years <laughs> For free oh. <laughs> Yo, you're ungrateful. Yo. <laughs> you guys. But tell us the reason you can wear slops on a public holiday. <laughs> Sharp. <laughs> but still, yeah, yeah, yeah. 27 years. Oh, wait. Wait, so, so you, you dropped out of high school then? Dropped out of high school. My second year of grade 10. Second year of grade 10. Wait. Right, didn't whoa, you go to school with... Whoa. 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 Uh, yeah. whoa. Second year of grade 10. <laughs> second year of grade 10. <laughs> See, I did grade 10... Also, you see, my parents went through a divorce. I was very stressed. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> sorry, dog. So you failed grade ten. Yeah, you repeated it. 
Yeah. I, so you're blaming your parents? I blame the divorce for everything. <laughs> Did you take the same That's one thing. If again? you come from a divorced home, you can blame divorce for everything, my guy. Telling you. That's it. Ex girlfriend, she caught me cheating. I was like, you know, I come from a broken home. <laughs> 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 what a George, yo. <laughs> caught in the act. The thing is, when my parents separated, I needed. You know, if you grow up around it, you end up doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say sorry? <laughs> She must apologize. Yeah, she's not empathetic if she doesn't say sorry. Dude, but you know, going to a, oh. when I went to a white school, you, you, know, you know if you're a black person or color, a person of color around white people, you can pull the race card. Because at a white school, if I didn't do my homework, then I just tell them, yo, guys, parents, they're not talking right now. Things are tough at home. Then they're like, hey, Rob, go for a walk. It's fine. <laughs> then, then I went to a colored school, <laughs> government school. Ah, Tell your teacher that my parents are going to divorce. Like, well, I'm trying to get child support for my man. Like, oh. 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 Which one is this one? <laughs> Similar issues. She no, can sorry, relate. ma'am. <laughs> the whole class can relate. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I dropped out of school. So, 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 you dropped out of high school, right? When you, when you dropped out of high school, was it because you knew what you wanted to be or you just tired of it? Or was it your, the, the parents' it, divorce? <laughs> <laughs> I was tired of it and I also knew I wanted to be a comedian. I was like, I'm wasting my mother's money here. Hectic. Generally, I was like, I'm wasting. already. And I went home that day. Technically, it should have been 11, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Dude, the school, Robert, the school I went to, there people <laughs> celebrating 21st at that high school. Wait, didn't you go to school with Nandi Madita? Yes. I know Nandi from Winters too. Wait, what? Whoa. No, Nandi, Nandi went to the preschool and my mother was the teacher there. So oh. I know Nandi from like literally two, three years old. Oh, no. so your mom used to teach Nandi? She used to teach Nandi. Oh. Who's the Nandi? first time I was ever on stage Nandi. was in a play with Nandi. Matita. Zex Pantuni's wife. Oh. Nandi's. Yeah, yeah I like her. I like her head. <laughs> 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 Which one is this one? It's, a, it's, a, it's shaped very nice. <laughs> but that's a... <laughs> what? That's a fire compliment because no one. It's Zeke's can't that's be offended. The, but <laughs> the, you can't yeah, even yeah. be like, I hey, keep your hands we're off. Gonna, we're gonna have Zeke's head. Scene, eh? <laughs> keep, my wife, keep your hands off my wife's head. Yeah, she, that's the nice thing I to see say. What you yeah. did there. <laughs> <laughs> that joke rocked. <laughs> hey, like hey. I went to school with Nandi, and you know, was in in our school, mm -hmm. Jacob Zuma's daughters. Oh, hey, Jacob hey. Zuma's daughters were in our school, and he, they, him, and Kosazana Zuma wouldn't make come to parents' teachers' evening because they were busy. So they had come like during the day, bro, bodyguards, everything, and then they had to call out all the teachers. Then the teachers would come and speak to them, like this: is what your kids are doing. And then they'd bounce, but I was fired, dude. So they'd set up their own parents. That's so crazy. Evening during and the, the day. teachers come out to go to them. So my two sisters were in the same class with two of his daughters, and they used to come and pick up my sisters. And then they used to go through bodyguards, used to come through. It was fire, man. Like Jacob, when you're around Jacob Zuma, you understand why people love him. Ah. That guy's bro. lovable, bro. Ah, yeah, character is very funny, actually. Like he's. Love that dope. He's a nice guy. He is. Yeah, like yeah, when you see him, you're like, I know, I understand. You met him. What do you mean, met him? I've, no, I've known Jacob for... Uh, you even know, you even call him Jacob. I, I meant His Excellency. <laughs> his excellency. I meant His Excellency, Baba, Jacob Zuma. Mama <laughs> Lala. This was boring, bro. I wouldn't go, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quick. We just so, no, so, so, would, who would you go out with? Who would you go out for, like, party with? Cyril or Jacob? Ah, uh, party with Julius. <laughs> Julius. We've actually... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I remember Julius is also nice, bro. He's a sweet dude. Mm -hmm. No, but if you're gonna party, Zoom is the party guy. You can dance with him. Yeah, have a good time. No, no, Uncle Jacob, Malume, His Excellency. Yeah, Papa Jacob. Zuma. He was partying with. Uh... Why is the camera? All these guys party, bro. Even Mandela, Mandela used to roll with white woman before we joined ANC. Mm -hmm. Did you not watch the movie? And Mandela read the book. White woman. Mandela, before Mandela used to be a lawyer, he used to party and stuff. Even Ooh. in the movie, they show Mandela hooking up with white women and stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. His first wife left because of that. 
Yes. Yeah, when he, got, when he could... got back to his house in Orlando, his curtains, everything was gone because he was... Party. Imagine that woman left Mandela. <laughs> if she was only patient for 27 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then you leave me for a white woman. <laughs> ah, <I> never. <laughs> During a birthday. Imagine. Yo, bro. So, yeah. So, <laughs> yo, he's in high school, right? So you 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 left, dog. So you you decided I'm gonna leave high school and pursue but, comedy then, or because the reason why I'm bringing this up is, bro, I wish I knew in high school about stand up, right? Right. Uh, I think I only, literally, only discovered stand up in our country in 2009 when I went to go watch Trevor and Kibuka and uh, Darren Moore and Martin Jonas. Yeah. So you're saying at 16 you already knew this is what you wanted to do? Yeah. I think I, if if there were a, was a comedy club in Durban when I was fourteen, I'd have started. That's okay. funny you should say that because that's when Dave Chappelle started comedy. Yes, Dave I, Chappelle at fourteen years, uh, his mom used to take him to comedy clubs. Yeah, he told his mom he wants to be a comedian. His mom would literally put him in the back of the car, take him to the comedy club, and that's Dave Chappelle. The reason why Dave Chappelle is Dave Chappelle today is because he started at the age and of fourteen. His mom said, "Yo, Dave Chappelle's doing comedy as long as we've been alive." <laughs> That's wild, eh? That is wild. Did that was see? way before the World Cup. It was <laughs> <laughs> even before Freedom. Dave Chappelle's going for his fourth decade in comedy. Before Freedom. Yeah. Bruh. But you know, like if any artist, if, you, if you're a comedian, musician, dancer, whatever it is, pursuing your passion in art, people don't realize how much guts that is. Yeah. Like people always say I have backup plans, but the, the end of, at the end of the day, everyone survives through life because of art. Yeah. So like when people try and speak kids out of doing it, I'm like, you survive. Doesn't matter if you're a teacher, doctor, whatever. Everyone exists of music, movies, entertainment, everything that an artist has has sacrificed and and put their life on the line for to to do in life. Also has helps given out to humanity. Average, yeah. You know what I mean? Like people can't live without music and water. It's, yeah. It's a thing, like, your favorite musician sacrificed. That's why whenever people try and speak down on a kid trying to pursue their dreams, I'm just like, hey, bruh, you, your re relaxation, when you just put on a movie to chill, is because that person said, to be I'm going to write a script a instead a script of working writer. for a person. That's big bars, actually. That's big bars, bruh. And, and it's, it's, people always think, no, if, you, if you're going to do something, then you have to be the best at it. No. You don't have to be the best at it also. You know mm. what I mean? Rasta has made a... Brilliant uh, hmm. career. What? No, man. What? What? <laughs> Rasta is the best. He's done a painting of UA. He's the best. Yeah, yeah and, and then he gave it to him on his birthday. Yeah, I saw but, that one. But you see, Rasta's not like a Picasso, right? Mm. But also, but he's he's created a lane for himself. I don't think he gets the picture. Like, which one is this one? Like, hey. he, <laughs> he drew pops. Your small finger was bigger than your thumb. I've got three fingers on each hand, but that's not the point. It's like Mickey Mouse. The Mom. point is only is one. Only one. Only one person can draw like that. Yes. And we enjoy his drawings. They don't have to be these picture perfect. Mm. It's like we need to draw the line between. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's inconsistency and perfection. Yes. yes. That's yes. Because opportunity yes. meets preparation. So as long as people keep doing what they do, the opportunity for them to get bigger is going to come eventually. Exactly. Yeah. But it, it, I'm telling you, that it's my 15th year in this thing and I've realized patience, bruh. Patience with this thing. You Like if you're patient enough and you can provide for your family yeah. while being patient, you're doing fine. Nah. The fact that you can wake up every day and do what you love and provide for the people that you need to, that's success. Yeah. Just depending on yeah. how big your success is. Mm. That like Chappelle's been doing it for how long? He got a deal in 2017 for that 60 million or whatever. Dollars with Netflix, yes. So, but that's the, how many years of just doing the thing? I think right now we live in a in a world of instant micro yeah. generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, likes must happen now. What mm. everything must happen. I must trend now. and be famous yeah. now. Everyone mm. wants to be Dimpy Dimpopo. Titi. Which one is this one? <laughs> <laughs> what oh, is going on? Yet another day, yet another episode, yet another TT moment. Dimpy oh. Dimpopo had a, with a very fast career. Bro. Oh, gosh, man. Oh, 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 gosh, yeah. Remember Sheesh. one day he just came on and Dimpy Dimpopo was everywhere. Dimpy, Dimpy is... <clears throat> what? One, not... The one looks like Donovan Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, is that uh, <laughs> which one is this? <laughs> who's the, in the car content oh uh, go see the one that what like Donovan. it's that one <laughs> he looks like Donovan that guy if Donovan didn't do didn't do well in life <laughs> <laughs> he was giving me <laughs> I'll probably look at Donovan next time <laughs> and then take away all the money in your head. <laughs> Remove the money. You're seeing money. Take away the money in your head. You're be. Hey, man. So what are you saying, Titi? But for me, like, Dimpy Dumpopo's story, man, was one of the most heartbreaking stories I've ever seen in entertainment. This guy was like an A-lister at some point, you know. He was everywhere. You know, and then someone stole his Instagram. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Yes. <laughs> someone stole the pin code. <laughs> and no, we man. lost the archives in our memories, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the story changed after that, bro. That's so funny. We should get Dimpy on the show to come tell us what happened, bro. Yeah, because I, don't, I also think it's like... Because <coughs> like here's what happens with success like that, right? Instantaneous like, success. Yeah. You have the hype and then you almost need to grow and develop this thing. You need to convert it into something long lasting. Yes. Now. Like if if Pops trends through a video he did and then we like him for the video that he did, if he keeps doing the same video the same way in the same format, that's not utilizing the hype. Because it's like you you know what he's going to say even if the video's on mute. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, same yeah, script. Yeah. Same. Oh, yeah. So it's like what you do with hype is you, you send traffic your way to create more things. Now Pops is doing ads. Now Pops is doing hosting. Now Pops is doing... So I think that's just what it was. The era between him or his team to advance and take opportunities. But I totally agree. But I also think sometimes you're not ready for your fame. Yeah. It's like sometimes you must be grateful you don't have eyes on you. Growing in the dark it's is a better, beautiful better. thing. Yeah. You know, it's like growing, people want to be famous, but that's Ooh. that place when you when you're in the dark is the time you make mistakes and you mold you, yourself and, and you mistakes. figure out yourself. Yeah. Like look at Fifty Cent, and I'm using examples. I know this one. Yeah. He loves Fifty. Yeah. 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 This okay. guy, if you've been with Titi in the club when Fifty Cent comes on, Titi he loves runs, 50. dog, and he starts explaining to you where Fifty was <laughs> when he made when the, he song. the song. Bro, he had a bullet here in his mouth, <laughs> and then. Yo, dog! Which one is this one? Prur, Prur. <laughs> this guy went to, I saw him once go and shake a DJ's hand for playing in the club. <laughs> he was so happy. <laughs> the DJ's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. <laughs> but if put it 50 cent, like 50 cent try to, you know, you're trying to make a career and then he, and then doesn't work, then he gets shot things pop off. But when he, when people put their eyes on 50, no one could touch 50, bro. Mm. Like, for 50's run in the game, it so, was so incredible. He literally ended a person's career. Kunji, whose career did he? Ja Rood. Ja Rood. No oh, one, yes. Dude, no one's ever done that to somebody, bro. I've never seen somebody become so successful and dope that, imagine you being so dope that no one else can do comedy at the moment. Yo. Damn. That's crazy. Dude, that 50, Actually, you're right. 50 did do that. Dude, 50 stopped it. 50 made you feel bad if you weren't shot. If you were a rapper and you didn't get shot, you're like, ah, but I'm nothing. I'm wasting my time, yeah. You, what, what 50 did to Jaro... to go get shot. Eh? <laughs> he did get shot. No. Man. By who? The, the police. police. They said they missed on the... No. Like that he... oh, sorry, sorry, Kulichana. Hurry. Kulichana got shot by mistake. They mistook him for someone else and they shot him at a garage. And it was like a near-death experience. Yeah, then he, he obviously got paid out a lot because it was a mistake. So he did get shot. I thought he He's the most shot. gangster rapper we have here. Yeah. No, who's the most gang gangster? Mm -mm. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. I think, no, I don't think Youngster's gangster. I think he's just from a gangster area. Yeah. No, but Youngster... Say, youngster is youngster's, 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 youngster's gangster. Youngster's, youngster's, youngster's gangster. gangster. Youngster, youngster CPT. When, I, gangster. when I went to so Cotton First, Cape Town. Yeah. And then because I'm in Cape Town, I was trying to hit up the guys that are around, see the store, go buy some merch, you know, like supporting see the guys. See The store. The store. Oh, the, uh, the, yeah, the, 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 the head store. store. <laughs> yeah, 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 store. <laughs> the head store. <laughs> <laughs> the head store. <laughs> 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 and there's plenty in Cape Town. <laughs> 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 store. 
So oh. He's got a white gym store. And in mm. fact, in the same block, his mom also has like a clothing store that's up. So mid chat, he's giving me the chat, yo, this is the railway, the train station, the guys, some other bro that just came out. Hey, bro, when did you come out? Hey, oh, yesterday, how are you, bro? It's my bro, robot boy. I'm just like, hey, I see if it is there. Gang signs. Hey, I just came with this one in the picture. <laughs> just have to be, <laughs> Everyone in the picture. Just, yeah, everybody in the picture. But he was just explaining that, yo, these are people that he 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 tells their story through music too, because he's been there and right. understands that stuff. Mm. Yo, so I yeah, I think youngster. Yeah. yeah. Madlera, dope boy. No, you can see, but uh, I don't know. Gangsta. I don't think he I think was he, yeah. area like what you're saying. Ma- Madlera, 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 gangster. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five K. Very yeah, good. No. Very gangster. Uh, yeah. K. Shebe. Shebe also, from Limpopo. Yeah. Also uh, very 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 gangster. Gangster Shebe. Yeah, but we just okay. came out of jail and now now. Dude, but I, it wasn't it for like drinking and driving? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what it was from, but guys, it, yeah. I, I had a cousin who went into jail for tax, not paying tax, and then he came out, but then he didn't tell the people he went in for not paying tax. Told him he, he tried to hit he hit somebody or whatever. Came out, bruh. The respect he got on the streets for not paying tax. Because <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know, bruh. They like, <laughs> if you do jail, just add to the story, bruh. <laughs> so like Maling, I remember he was sent to jail for stealing cheese, and then he went there. He was telling them, "Hey, he had to kill that person." People are like, "Yo, this guy's hectic." Just as he left, he said, "Daily cheese." <laughs> and he ran out. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible reason to go to jail. But you know, one thing, one thing, when we're talking about you know careers and all that stuff, or what? Like, I think that Robbie's. Career né, is one of the most, especially if you're in comedy, you'd know this. Yes. Né, it's one of the most decorated. This is the word I was looking for. It's one of the most decorated careers that people don't, and I don't think people give it enough attention because this is like the most celebrated comedian in the country. Yes. No one else has done Dave Chappelle, uh, Trevor Noah, Trevor Noah uh, been to New York as many times as you probably yeah. have. <laughs> Trevor, I mean, maybe the only other person can be Trevor, I think. He's the epitome. Bro, Robbie right now is the comic of the year. Mm-hmm. Currently, South Africa, you are watching the comedian of the year, <laughs> Robert <laughs> Gregory Collins. Oh, yeah. Thank you, bro. Rob, Jesus. you've been on stage with Dave Chappelle. You've been on stage with Pharrell. How did you get on stage with Pharrell, dog? I love Pharrell. Yeah, the tattoo. I love Pharrell. You know why Pharrell? Pharrell is the Pharrell is the example of 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 a of a black person at the time in my life who, who was showing me they could do anything. Because the way Pharrell was, Pharrell was making the hardest hip hop beats. He was, mm. he was wearing cowboy boots. Swag. Mm. Like his swag was like, then you'd make songs with Britney Spears. He was like, oh, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to be, especially like- You have to box yourself. Well, in yeah. this country, like we go, okay, if you're black, be like this. If you're colored, be like, like this, it, listen yeah. to this. Especially when we were in school. Now mm. it's kind of, it's different for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pharrell was that dude for me. It's just like, ah, bruh, listen to rock, listen to jazz, like whatever. Just be your own kind of person. So that's why Pharrell was that, that example for me. So How did you meet him? When he was at the Dome, because yeah. I'd watched his concert on YouTube. Then I saw when he does NERD songs, he brings people on stage, bruh. Heck, too. So I'd, I'd watch his concert twice on YouTube. So as soon as I'd heard the NERD songs, I ran to the front, bruh. I was pushing children, dude. <laughs> 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 How old are you at this time? Oh, this is maybe five years ago. Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> to the small child, because they're waiting for him to sing Happy. Remember, Pharrell became yeah, like world famous China, yeah. with Happy. They yeah. waited for that. Like, Pharrell, I was like, move there. <laughs> go through. I'm like, Pharrell, look here. Look here. Because there's an album cover. Look here. Then he sees it. So that tattoo is the album cover of, of, of a, which? Of, of an NOD album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He sees this thing. He's blown away, bro. Pulls me on stage. Dance and everything. Then while the concert's happening, he has a moment and then he sits and he talks to me and everything. And he goes, come come backstage and we'll we'll take pictures. So then after, at the end of the Yo, concert, Skateboy P. Went backstage, his wife was there, took pictures. The man smells like strawberries, bro. Like if, if somebody had to say, if somebody had to say, okay, if I had to wake up tomorrow and just find men attractive, I'm, I'll go for Pharrell. Which one is this one? Takes a brave man to say that, my brother. My man, you know how many times I've thought about being gay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a yeah, my man, gay is a nice life, dog. 
<laughs> Why are you saying that? Well, gay people just look like they're doing fine. <laughs> yes. Like financially, <laughs> yeah. gay people look set. Yeah. Like, have, you seen a, have you seen a gay person struggle in life? No. Financially? No. <laughs> Dog, they're all doing fine, bro. <laughs> Robert, you know I'm Nash. My man, my man, I'm that's telling the, you now, bro. That's the promo clip. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've told him? <laughs> Dude, the problem being gay, I'm telling you, if, if I found a man who could provide for me in yeah. this <laughs> Guys, this is a safe space. Yeah. 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 You are coming out the closet. My man, I'll be a house husband. You are going I'm in telling the, you, I'll be a house husband. You are going in the closet to come out of it. Yes. <laughs> Dog, I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll, pr- I'll keep the house neat. Go and work, bring back the money. <laughs> I'm not even... Uh, we've all, I promise you, we've all, all straight men see other men attractive. Eh, okay. You're lying if you don't. Think about how men dress. We Most men fine. wear the same clothes okay. and look, have the same styles. That means you see this outfit on another man and you go, that thing's going to look nice on me. Um, okay, Pops. It's top five. Truth. Top five attractive men to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> top five top attractive five men. men. South African. Uh, 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 let me do international. Okay. Do uh, all of yeah. Boris Kojo. <laughs> Boris Kojo? Yeah. B- Boris Kojo, the, the German dude who's on Real Husbands. Real oh, Husbands yes. with Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yes, yes. Boris. He was on oh, Boris. Soul Food or something. Yeah, yeah. Yellow Bone Ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's Boris. Light eyes. Yeah. Uh, uh, What's going on? <laughs> I'd say, I'd, I'd, I'd throw Terrence Howard in there. Terrence Howard looks like he's, he's been drinking a lot as of late. Yo, Pops already has a time. I'll shave. Hey, yo, this guy. This guy. Uh, he's got standards, this man. Doesn't want alcoholics. Who's that guy on Think Like a Man? He's like a... He's like... He's the, he's the guy who's, who's trying to start the restaurant, but he's broke. Michael Eby. Michael Eby. Ely. Michael Ely. Michael Ely. Ely. Yeah. yeah. So the, guy, the guy from Prison Break. Michael Schofield. Schofield, yeah. Michael yeah, Schofield. yeah. 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 That's a good look. That's a pretty man. Yeah. It's a pretty man right there. Mm. <laughs> Which one have uh, you saw? Yo, now I'm thinking about my top five. <laughs> Doug, it's like, what's going uh, on? Give us at least two. I know you've this. You yeah. have to have seen a man and go, have, like, you know, in the date, dating phases, like when you're young and stuff, and, and you're still insecure. And then, you know, like, you, you talk, remember that you like a girl and stuff, and then yeah. another guy enters and starts talking to a chick that you like. Then you're like, ah, it's fine. This one's gone. <laughs> Have you ever... Oh, you, it's like, it's like, amongst, like you get, amongst, as, amongst group of friends, we all know who's the chama boy. Like uh, that. Like, yes. you know that ish, if a girl were to come now and pick between us, yeah, ish, she's going for my friend. Right? Yeah, so yes, yes. Like yeah. that. We all know. Yeah. We all know. So, yeah, it's like, the dopest, or you know what I'm saying? No, but have you? <laughs> so, no, I so want so you to a gorgeous man. Yes, okay. I want you. You, I know there's a man out there who you think is beautiful. Who are your top three? I did three. I could only do three. What's your top three beautiful men? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> who are your top three beautiful men? International. Yo. No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway, even local. No, well, let's go international. <laughs> Let's go international. Um, Why are you touching your face when you're saying this? this? <laughs> you guys don't want to pick local because you feel like you're going to bump into these people. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so on the podcast, you said, uh, Kesha, okay? <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, Oh. No, I'm trying to think, man. Um, Maps. Uh, uh, that's you. <laughs> I've never. Who's seen Maps' head? He's yeah. always wearing hats. I've seen. I've seen it. His, his hair. He's got. He's got hair like. He's got hair like Killmonger uh, uh, now. You know Killmonger. Where's his hairline at? It's there. It's there. It's there. He's got a hairline. Uh, oh, he just likes the hats. Yeah. I just realized that I haven't seen his. What head. about Donald? You said Donald what was handsome. Mean, <laughs> no, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want to date Donald. What? It just feels like a lot of admin. <laughs> <laughs> and I must come in red shorts at and, the house. Yeah, to, now it's match. We've got a match. I can see Donald make us match. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> the couple of dancing stages. 
Ah, I can see it too. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know make us match, but man, I don't know what. You can see it. Don't know make a match. I make you sing duets with him and family prize. Probably one, two. It is unpredictable. Imagine. You say this life we live. We practice this man. Uh, he's in his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Which one of you guys in the first day is over? Yeah, the Robert, Donald, go, Donald cries off the orgasms. I Robert guess. is in the <laughs> Now I've got to hold him on. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what you with Donald the other week? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, he, 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 he looks like he'll monitor your diet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really, Robbie? Really? Bread. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> dang. Uh, <laughs> let's see, who's your top three? Looks like he's zip uh, My top three, like mm. good-looking brews. <laughs> what? Top yeah. three, good-looking brews. Uh, uh, Jamie Fox. After the stroke or before the stroke? Yeah! Which one is this one? I won't lie. Me, I want a provider. Yeah, I know. <laughs> The stroke did take away a lot. Eh? Yes. <laughs> and the nose is not the same place. <laughs> the nose is what? It's not in the same place. You guys. It's the arteries. They moved. <laughs> you guys. Fella, the stroke is your heart saying, I need a break. <laughs> sure. No, no, yeah. But Yo. <laughs> Jamie Foxx, Lakeith, um, the actor guy. Lakeith Sweat. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I thought you should go. Like, I, I, I forget <laughs> his oh, name. Uh. Like Heath. Uh, yeah, bro, like good looking bros, man. You know, like, T.I., you know. Like, I think, I honestly, honestly T-I. think, I honestly think that there are a lot more <laughs> good looking bros out there than, like, like than in women. terms of, like, if they were, like, similar. Like, there are a lot of good looking bros, man. Like, yeah. And you must just admit and say, hey, these are good looking bros. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. Which one is this one? Why is everyone quiet? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk and laugh or something. You know, cause, cause it's like you're taking mind serious. You mind less serious. And you're trying to talk his way out of it. <laughs> no, we have to admit there are good looking pros out there. There's a lot more good looking pros than we'd like to admit. So it's okay to say pros are good looking, you know? <laughs> so what's better to refuse? And be part of the problem. <laughs> I uh, told you. Robert. That. Yes. Three. I, you are. You, you, uh, Robert Boy hasn't even mentioned one. He refuses. The Zulu name. I know, the, I know there's a man. <laughs> the, the, the Zulu name is not letting you. Okay. Okay. I'm so. Okay. Like, Remember the first time you watched Step Up and you saw a guy doing moves? Oh, Mario. Yeah. Oh, Mario. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, you felt something wanna, in your heart yeah. moving. <laughs> it was an icebox. Yeah. <laughs> my heart was in an icebox. I think my explanation, guys, of saying, like, you know who's going to get the girl, or you know who's dope, or you know who's like. No, I want you to say swag. which hand, the handsome man's name. Because you're talking about swagger. Swagger, yeah, an ugly you, person can have swagger. It's like TG said, we have to admit, there's a lot of good looking men out there. Okay. Yes. So that's the truth, yes. But now to say, oh, Marianne and this, it's like, I just think they dope. Like, I'll never see anybody as more good looking as me. That's just my self-confidence. But mm-hmm. I'll acknowledge someone else's dopeness. Oh, so we're not number one. No. <laughs> so you are the most handsome <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Guru, uh, I Zula, I don't do, but Pio, please I'm bring us a mirror. See what they do. <laughs> please bring us a mirror from the bathroom, quick. <laughs> On the robot to see something. <laughs> That's why he doesn't even identify as human anymore. <laughs> he beats us all. That's a good one. Yo, bro. So, so that's how you met Pharrell, man. Yes. So, how did you meet Dave Chappelle, dog? I uh, met Dave Chappelle in New York the first time at the Comedy Cellar, Ish. and then when he was coming to perform here during the Global Citizens. Yeah. Then he asked Trevor, he's like, who should open? And then Trevor Trevor said, me, which was dope. And they just rolling with Dave. You you, you came to the party yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Dave is dope. The difference with Trevor is Trevor like rolls just like a couple people. Dave, when he came to South Squad. Africa. Deep. 
Dog squad. Aunties, cousins, the dude he went to Most school. Most deaf. His best, <laughs> his best friend from high school is his bodyguard. Cousins. Like, the like it's a, it's a party when you roll with Dave. Yeah. He rolls around with, you know that last number JBL speaker, the Bluetooth one, the big one? Yeah. He rolls around with that. And wherever Dave Almost goes, there. he turns the place into a smoking venue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if it's smoking outside. He you met Dave, sure. Dave will light his cigarettes in a restaurant and they're just like, Chappelle. Bro, it's like that's crazy. I don't think people realize, like, because Rob, you make it seem like you met Dave on an excursion, and that's it. <laughs> I don't think you're not giving us the juice here. You know Dave Chappelle, like you guys speak on you WhatsApp. Guys, you, you know you've opened shows for him. You talk on WhatsApp. The best was probably it last year, November, New York Comedy no, Fest. Right now, I still then <laughs> the, the, in New York with Dave opening, and then most is there. Most deaf, then Erica Badu comes to Erica, bruh. Erica has an aura around her, dude. Like, Dave is cool, but Dave is also just the comedian. Like, once you get over the fame thing, you realize you're speaking to. Oh, to Sharp. You know what I mean? Like, mm. the way he speaks and, like, he, like, the conversations we had was just, like, so real. He calmed me down. Like, some people, like, like, you know, you, even in South Africa, when you meet a famous person in the club, or somebody who's known, mm. they carry themselves like you must speak to them like they famous. In a certain way, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Dave, is trying, Dave cuts that immediately. You remember that time? Yeah. Like you yeah. immediately go, oh, we're chilling here. Because for the longest time, we chilled in the same place. And then because I was opening, it was Pops and a couple of other comedians chilling with Dave. <laughs> Dave was there. Then at the end of the night, it's like, hey, Dave, these guys, can we take a picture with the South African comics? But like he doesn't make you feel like you want to grab and take pictures. Moment, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, like there's some famous people where they, they carry themselves like, I need you to to behave like I'm something. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. You know that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. But Erica Badu, uh, bro, I understand why Erica makes every <laughs> she dates vegetarian. Like dead hands. Because you know everyone she dates at Common, mm-hmm. um, what's this, J Electronic, um, Andre 3000. Oh, After yeah. Erica bones a dude, they become vegetarian. She changes you. I don't know what she does, but I understand it. That hand has an energy. We smoke weed together. <clears throat> then I started seeing it. Like, it felt like there was like a, a like a light around her, bro. What was inside the weed? Yeah, I was about to say, that doesn't sound know, like she's beautiful, bro. After I smoked weed with, with Erica, I was like, ah, life is different. Like, she just had uh, another vibe. Now I'm like, yo, can't go back to smoking weed with delays. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want the North God catching strays? <laughs> like, I'm playing, but she just she just has she just has a, a vibe. She just has a, a, a great great right. energy. Mm. You can just see, and she's very like spiritual. But you met all your heroes. You met Pharrell, you like Pharrell. Only person I'd want to meet is, is Muhammad Ali. But he obviously is dead. But that's the only person I think I'd really want to meet. Who do you want to meet? Yo, bro. Um, who do I want to meet? I have no idea. Uh, I'd, I'd still love to meet, meet uh, Chris Rock. I'd love to meet Will Smith. I'd love to meet... And uh, yeah, the, the order is weird, but no. I still, no, I still like no, to be the little slips. Hey, 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 robot with the pants. <laughs> no, bro, I'd, I'd love to meet Jamie. Uh, yeah. I I didn't get a chance to meet Kevin when he was here because yo, literally, and and the thing is, we had an opportunity to meet him because it was like literally, you know, the same vibes with Trevor. Like yeah, after yeah. the show, go, I just wait by the backstage. We'll put you in. That's it. But um, I was getting married the next day, so I couldn't. I had oh, to, yeah, yeah. So I had to like, like my wife or Kevin. Yeah. So I had you to, had to choose your heart. Uh, also, you can't hang out. This. You can't hang out with Kevin Hart the day before you get married <laughs> after the scandals. Now, yo, which one is this one? Doing so well, but. Like, Kevin Hart. Well, what what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean about the scandals? Hang out. The brewer was caught, you know, uh, looking outside the window. I, 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 okay. If I was, also, I was at the show with my wife. I know you were with your wife, but 
<laughs> if you say, hey, my wife, I'm going to hang out with this guru. <laughs> Ah, never mind. So besides, <laughs> besides Muhammad Ali, but Robert you get what you get what I'm saying. Who like, else no. would you like to meet? Association, my favorite too. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I'd really want to meet Oprah. Yes, I re- I, oh. Oprah. We grew up with Oprah, but I still I love Oprah. I wish Oprah, Oprah. Like, dude, Op- Oprah's show was we fire, grew, man. Yeah. I used to watch it every day after school. Standard. Bro. Oprah's like the first the person GBC. who put it in. Like therapy and stuff in into people of color's minds, like yeah, like uh, nobody was telling us about therapy. It bro. seemed foreign to us at the time. Yeah, so. but no, Oprah was the first one who was like helping people of color, especially women. Like, mm. hey, let's how do we? And yes. Like, Oprah did a lot of stuff for us. Yeah, Pella, she's the one that put on Doc Doc Phil. Let me yeah. tell you something. And Doctor Oz, she makes money still of those dudes, man. Yeah, she's hectic. Like Oprah, like I think business wise and just also like her life journey is dope. I'd want to speak to Oprah. I'd l- I'd love to have conversations with these people. Yeah. But you know what I want to speak to? I want to speak to the white guy who puts Jay Z on hold. Everyone wants to meet Jay Z. You want to? I want to meet the white guy. He says I'll call him back. <laughs> that guy. Who's that? Oh, that who's guy. that guy? Because <laughs> all, on hold. all these people, there's always a white guy above who's. Yeah. I, want, I want to meet that person. No one's gonna say Wayne. No one's gonna say Little Wayne. Yeah. Oh, I'd love. I. I. That's my number. One. I'd love to hang out with Wayne for like a for like two days. Yeah. Mike yeah. Tyson. Oh, Tyson. Yeah, oh. that's that. Real. Oh, I actually met Tyson the first time I performed in in uh, in the US. Yeah, Mike like, Tyson. Mike. So the first time I. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike. The first time. Is he tall. No, he's not. He's, he's he's big. He's not tall, tall, tall. He's right. not like gigantic. Yeah, I bet tall. you're talking to. So so Jeff Jeff Ross brought Mike Tyson to the Laugh Factory oh. in in LA to come do his first ever stand up gig and that was the the second night I'd got into LA. Damn. So, yeah. So that night was literally was literally Mike Tyson I got to see I got to see Chris Rock's brother Tony Rock. Yeah, he's so I, I'm halfway to meeting Chris. Almost. Almost. Yeah, dog. So my first time performing in in in, in LA I I was on the same bill with those with those old And you met Bill Cosby. Yes. What did he offer you to drink? Uh, Tea. Uh, <laughs> Where did you sleep that night? Uh, Where did you wake up? Uh, uh, <laughs> Who settled the bill? <laughs> so have you met Trevor Noah? <laughs> I'm fine. Meeting Trevor Noah was crazy, bro. Well, yeah. meeting him again. Yeah. Trevor's so chill. <laughs> yeah, you, no, you, there, you, was, you, there was a no, moment. I, but yeah, I met Bill Cosby at his house. But yeah. Anyway. Oh. yeah. Did you go to his house? At his house, bro. Hey, man. We were doing... How's his house? We're doing... Bull Cosby has money. Beautiful house in in, in Beverly Hills. Take the coin. So we're doing this documentary, right, about uh, comedians from the third world. There's me, uh, Aditi Metal from India, and Hassan Minaj is the host of this documentary. It's done by the... Nikki? Aditi Metal. Hassan Minaj. Oh. Yeah, Nikki Nikki and Minaj. (laughs) Hassan Minaj was the host, right? And... As part of the documentary, they 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 take us to go meet like one of these comedy icons. So when we walk into the house, they say to us, "Whatever you do, don't look on the walls, because pictures might give it away." It is, yeah. Yeah. So all we know is that we got taken to Beverly Hills. We get to this house, like the garages are open. There's these old beautiful mercs and these. Oh, I'm sure you are crying. So I'm like, who's this? So as we're walking in the in the in the passageways, I start noticing. I don't look at the pictures, but I notice there's just black people on these pictures. So I'm like, which black person is out here living like this? Uh, then I heard his voice in the passage. And I was like, that's Bill Cosby. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> this was obviously before the, yeah, the yeah. allegations, accusations, and everything. Yeah, that'd be so, weird if they took bro, you to a rapist house. Hey, don't look at the walls. <laughs> <laughs> which one is this one? <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, yes, you guys. Yeah, bro. So yeah, yo, bro. I, like, I can count how many times I've ever been starstruck. That was one of them. Uh, meeting Dave Chappelle that night. Like, I was cool and everything, but deep down, I was starstruck, bro. Yeah, there's still those, there's still those moments. Like, even like two months ago, I was with him backstage, <clears throat> and the it's funny, <laughs> and and I. Gig and then he's performing and he's just chilling with this he rolls with the speaker everywhere. Uh-huh. Then his friend from the friend, it was his friend's birthday, 
and no, sorry, it was Dave's birthday, and his friend wanted to do stand up when Dave was 14. So his friend goes, Yo, tell your mom, uh, let's go to the comedy club. I've put us down for gigs. So he goes, he goes, but he bombs. Dave does well. Mm. And then he stopped comedy, but he's tight. He's now a music a manager. He manages musicians. But he was backstage, just listening to him. And he was telling me, Dave's first gig was also with Ellen DeGeneres. Mm. Same Ooh. night. So it was like comedy At 14. Cards, 14. And he said dope. She was a lesbian. He, he said Dave was so dope. Mm-hmm. He was like, I can't do... She was what? what? She was still straight. <laughs> she was still straight at the time. But he was Dave... Robbie. Dave, was, Dave was so dope. <laughs> Dave was so dope. She was, uh, he, the friend was just like, nah, it's fine. That's so crazy, bro. And tell us about meeting Trevor, dog. Like, that's... but I know we know Trevor from before Trevor was famous. Yeah. So like Trevor just it's like Trevor. Tre- like I have to, I have to remind myself how dope my friend is. Yeah. yeah. Like when, like it's uh, crazy when, when, yeah. like you see the man's hosting Grammys and you're like, this, this is wild. Yeah. Mm. It's but I'm also like I'm, sometimes I have to pull myself back and realize how dope he is because you know you can get so used to your friend doing well. That you just like stop saying congratulations. Yeah, and it's like yeah. normal too. Because now Trevor is not expected. Such, he's done such crazy things. You're like, no, but it still deserves a congrats, bro. It does, bro. <laughs> like yeah. you're doing wild things. Yeah. But you, you see, like he's still the same dude, bro. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Is that how how different is he now that he's gotten all this fame and success? Like when you see him again, is he still the same, Trevor? Or would you say still the same dude? It's still like. Like even when you see him with his family, it, like it still, still seems like, seems like a person who also understands. Like mm-hmm. it's not the level of you know, like when you see people that are famous, they lose the the. That's why comedians usually get unfamous when they get unfunny when they get famous and rich. It's not that they're no more funny, as they detach from real life. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? And it's no longer on the ground or whatever. Like Kevin Hart, some of his latest specials don't resonate as much with the people because he's so far gone. Far gone, bro. Private planes. Trevor, when Trevor was here, now he was taking. Um, last time he was here, he was taking private planes. We were flying around private. But man, private life. The best. Dude, the you know, angry Ghost lady, up. how's private life? Mm. Hey, ghost lady, we see you flying in private no, jets. She was, she, was, she was sleeping. Eh? Oh. She was sleeping. It wasn't like she a fly surfer. <laughs> But you know the pro- the, Kevin the, crew, the problem is the, 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 there's there's two things with with experiencing like dope stuff is that it makes you want to work harder to make it a normal. First yeah. Thing. Yeah. But if you're not financially ready to make it a normal, my man, your next flight. You need first reading. My man, the next mango flight you take <laughs> after. <laughs> Off to private, <laughs> yo, bro. People touching you, like, ah, yo, poor people are frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this well, one? Man. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, on a private plane, they don't tell you switch off your phone. <laughs> they don't tell you put it on flight mode. Yeah. You know, so Lanceria, Lens, it's crazy because we're flying private from. So behind Lanceria, you'll see it called. There's a there's a sign you can't miss. It's called Executive Jets. Mm. Yeah. My man. There are many people flying private in this country. Because mm-hmm. we also think rich is f- equivalent to fame. Nah, my man, there's rich people just don't want to be around poor people. But <laughs> no, generally, and aren't even famous or anything Low like key. that. They're just proper living a life. So Trev- it's Trevor now, when he was in South Africa, I think he's been f- been away for so long. He was flying Saf Air, bro. So that was real. They were just talking about it. Because we that were, was real. and I were debating after the show. Yeah. Like, we didn't see pictures like, on social uh, media. Maybe the the joke face. about Fly Safe. Safe, bro. It was just a written and joke. There's sick. no way he flew Fly Safe. I'm fine. One is, one is I, I guess, probably saving money, but it's not. Trevor can clearly buy a plane. Buy a Fly Safe. But, yeah. <laughs> but I think it was, it was literally just trying to reconnect with and see how people are doing it. Mm. So there's a lot of those things. Like even, like, even when I speak to him, like leading up to the show, he's trying to ask how things in the country. What's happening? Doing research, trying research to research yeah, and yeah. knowing all those things. So, and that's important, you know, as a comedian. If your audience, if you know, you 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 say what people are thinking, yeah. or, or or you capture and and put what people are going through, and you give it back to them yeah, in a way yeah. they yeah. can deal with and laugh at. 
Bruh, you know, some of our cheese gang out there were so upset with us last week because we... Dude, like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't understand, bro. Oh. So we went to go watch Trevor, what, last week, two weeks ago? On Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday night. And, and uh, okay, let, I just want to make things clear. Nah, there was a, a backstage where everyone was taking pictures by yes. the by the green background. Mm. Then there was where we were. Yes. Which was the back, back, backstage. Yes. Where we got Inside to see what, change room. what Trevor ate before he went on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, got to meet Trevor and stuff like that. Then we came out of that where they were taking pictures. Now Bonang was just pushing us with a photographer. The, it was Bonang Day. Yeah, she was pushing because she had a photographer and we all had like one picture each. So, <laughs> so she had two spaces in the line. She was busy pushing me at a big sister one push. <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> what is your idea? <laughs> sister, we're all here for the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get my picture because of that. Do you remember? Yeah. We're being pushed there at the back. <laughs> That's you know it's crazy when you But see she didn't get to hang out backstage with Trevor like Yeah, I was about to say you got to be in his chamber. But she posted it. first, you understand? <laughs> when Trevor did the dome show, this was uh, the um aka was still dating Bonang. Bon yeah. Dating Bonang. So the dome show was, I think it was Scalp Pose Notes, Kanisa Bunu, myself, then aka Break, then Trevor. First of all, Trevor's white fans were so confused. They were tweeting him days like, I didn't know Trevor can sing and dance and do comedy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> they, they thought Trevor they was They literally got told Trevor was AKA. AKA. So they thought Trevor came and did music and uh, they had a break. Came back and... <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what? So... Dude, <laughs> white people, bruh. <laughs> That's so, crazy. So Trevor was once Trevor had was given a rolls for that tour. This a drop, a drop top rolls that rolls? Race, uh, uh, the, the phantom drop. Yes. That's, yeah. So this thing, my man, so a rolls. Uh, the first and only time I've ever been in a rolls. But the comfort in that car, bro. Door opens like this. Dude, <laughs> carpets, it's wild. So now we're rolling. So Bonang was backstage with with. AKA. AKA taking pictures on the rolls and everything. So so like she was happy. But now she didn't know backstage that her book had just dropped that month. Mm -hmm. But her book had all the spelling mistakes, remember? Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so Jeff was watching them take pictures on his rolls, just watching them like this. <laughs> oh. They're having fun. Break happens. Go to watch a show. Hey, Brad, Trevor just opens up on the book on stage. Just goes, but it's funny stuff, and they're laughing. But he did like ten minutes on Bonang's spelling. <laughs> <laughs> they said they spelled beautiful with a W. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, you childish. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, dude, literally, yeah. we we so so like Titi saying, <laughs> we went backstage, we 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 hung out at the back with with Ryan and, and yeah. Skulk and Mojak and, 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 and the guys, um, and Dylan, uh, Slebs, and then Trevor pulled up. What was so crazy was we saw uh, what because Trevor, you know, he always takes lozenges and yeah. his voice. we saw Woods, we saw Woods lozenges. Guys, yeah. <laughs> Me don't Woods forget lozenges. no S. <laughs> Woods. <laughs> Bro, don't have a change room. Trevor, tre the way Trevor rolls, his, his, uh, his things backstage is so different to Chappelle's. Like, you saw Trevor. It's like chips, fruit, chips, yeah, fruit. water, yeah. lozenges. Yeah. My man Chappelle, dude, <laughs> five different tequilas. <laughs> 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 but it's like it's a party in a nice way. Yeah. yeah. But and uh, but uh, <laughs> so the what do I say? So 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 this guy, dude, in Durban now, Trevor walks off stage. Now after the show, we debrief, we discuss jokes and what should stay word, and all yeah. those things. This guy makes a call, so he calls the ladies like, and he, he's like, uh, "Did you see my message? Can you just bring that for me?" This is what he has after the show. They bring custard. <laughs> Custard as an ultra male oh. and a can of peaches, puts it in a big bowl, it just chows that. That's that's off the show 
Trevor Snack, bro. What? That's crazy. Mm. This literally like a kid because you like, can take me out of the ghetto, but you can <laughs> take, take the ghetto out, out of me. me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, what? Just yeah. Sam Woods for life. <laughs> that, that's so crazy, dog. That's, that's interesting, actually, dog. But but yeah, so so we we obviously went backstage, met Trevor, spoke spoke spoke. They were like, hey, Bonang's waiting for a picture. So we are. <laughs> so we all went out to go take pictures with with everyone else. And then we took a picture, the three of us, the Trevor, you know. Uh, and then Sisi said, you should come on our podcast. And then Trevor laughed. Uh, so anyway, we... <laughs> Bro, and I said, it, I said it before the camera went. I said, you should come to the podcast. He held the laughter. Yeah. Went, cling, 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 cling. As soon as the photographer said, all right, he's like, yeah. he started laughing. And he just looked at me and said, just before the picture. <laughs> and as I was trying to explain, that guy said, Next! <laughs> Ah, God, <laughs> he rocked you. <laughs> so we, so we post a picture, right? The three of us with Trevor. So we say, "Yo, man, dope show last night." Shout out to Trevor. Yeah, like shout out. Then we say on the same caption, "By the way, cheese gang, you know what to expect." Yeah, Wednesday, got, Wednesday, you know, three p.m. Three p.m. We've got mm-hmm. our first ever international guest from the USA. Yeah, USA. The cheese gang loses their minds. Finally, Trevor's coming. Oh, up. yeah. Before the other podcast. Yeah. Yeah, you guys trust. We had Griff. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> Who is from the USA? Who's from the USA, dog. Trevor's not from the USA. Trevor's not from... Trevor's, oh, Trevor's just local. Counts. You did not lie. <laughs> we didn't lie. <laughs> they we, misread. They misread. We did not say Trevor Noy is coming to be on We never said Popcorn that. We and said cheese. We had a great show at Trevor. Trevor yeah, is still nice. very much South African. Yes. Yeah. Trevor's yeah. from Orlando. <laughs> like, oh, yo, Trevor's from Soweto. You know what time it is. 3 p.m. That's Don't forget. so funny, bro. They were calling him TD Jokes. <laughs> yeah, they were on oh, the live they were premiere. Calling TD Jokes. <laughs> on the live premiere. <laughs> they were like, Kimango. <laughs> Malum. Hello, Ari, Ari, and I can just picture Griff, y'all. Thing at Trevor knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Griff always sounds like he just busts the nuts and he's trying to order food. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How do you think like that, hey, bro? Oh, my so man. yeah, dog. Yeah, so I just wanted to clarify that with the cheesecake to me, like yo, understand their frustration also. You said that, mis- yeah, they didn't read. This is the problem we have in this country. We don't read contracts, guys. Mm. We don't yeah. read contracts. You must read. You must read. You must understand. Because we happen to post the picture on Wednesday, so we can't let. The day passed without reminding people of the show. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Makes sense. Because we watched them on the Tuesday. When when are you going back to Durban? No, America. Oh, uh, November. But only for like a week. How much time do we have with Rob Teach quickly? Ten. Ten. Okay. So Rob. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so you've traveled the world performing, bro. Um, you recently did Dubai. Um, you were in New York for like how long were you in New York, bro? Like this year, you were supposed months. to go for two weeks. You went for six months. Three months last year was three four or five months. months. Cheapest, bro. But hey, but what does that do to you as a comic, as a performer? Dude, New York is one thing. And I'm looking at your picture of New York. It's the, this city, bro. You know, you understand how you people say you. I didn't know this was New York. You thought this was Marabas. What did you think that was? Where do you, where do you think this was? Freestyle, some freestyle, some skyscrapers. Titi thought this was CBD. You've been coming to Beyond the Eyes for years, Titi. Where did you think this background was? I don't know, bro. I thought it was, was here. CBD? I won't lie, it was. You I thought, thought it was Jovek. Thought it was CBD. Not, not Jovek. Maybe but like there's no like Vodka Tower. There. How do you explain the water in the back? Freestyle, them. Rob, <laughs> New York, my back brother. Back to you. This is what you have to go through every week. All the time, bro. Every week. No, why? Because I see you guys sharing the show. And I see the posts. People are like, hey, Titsy. They always say, hey, Titsy, in the comments. <laughs> understand. <laughs> <laughs> what do you understand? 
I get it. I get it all. <laughs> you get it, man. The other thing about New York, New York taught me how replaceable we are. Yo, there's so many comedians there, bruh. Mm. Like, you know, the, the, I think that's when I learned to enjoy my life better when I realized that I'm special and replaceable at the same time. Hectic. Yeah. Yo, bro. That's so powerful, yeah. That's crazy. The, the world will move on without you, bro. Life. <laughs> it's the truth. Life. We all move on. We, like, that's life. So while you're here, just enjoy the thing and do what you want. <laughs> Don't hurt nobody and just enjoy it. Because the, the thing is, comedy, music, whatever, as a teacher, the people, people move on, bro. Yeah, they do, bro. People move on. Like, we all feel like we're special, especially when we achieve something. Like, yo, I need all this attention. Then they're like, no, tomorrow's another day, bro. <laughs> especially social media. Those guys move on, bro. Quick. They gone. Quick, bro. Yeah. So That's Dimpy. <laughs> <laughs> what did Dimpy ever do to you, though? Yeah, actually. It broke my heart, bro. What His happened? His career broke my heart. Like... Bruh, when Dimpu was coming, it was like a silver lining in the cheat code of what we, what I thought South African industry could be. And then they stole his Instagram. <laughs> so, so raw, this revelation you made. <laughs> he made another account. <laughs> what did George? Sure. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many people came back? Four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. 4,000 <laughs> This was the time of free Twitter also uh. oh. Yo, it's your concern You must DM him DM him and, and ask mm. no. he, he, Let's try get him on Actually, it's, Please, a story, yeah. it's, a, it's an important story to, 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 For the country <laughs> <Yeah>. Bro, <laughs> for the this, country. this revelation of yours Realizing how special you are And how replaceable you are Is it the reason why you decided when you came back home after spending all that time in New York. Is that is that the reason why you decided when you got back here, you moved back to Durban? What's the significance of you moving back to Durban, bro? To enjoy life, bro. Mm. Look, talking to Trevor, you know, we've all had this thing. I must have the certain amount of money in the bank, yeah. certain amount of fame before you can get married or before you can do a thing. Mm. Being close to Trevor, I was speaking to Trevor when he left the Daily Show. You just... He was like, I've done everything, but I'm still not happy. For, like, Ooh, hey, then I'm like, oh, so the thing I'm chasing, is not my friend is telling happiness. me when I get to the promised land, I could still be unhappy. Mm. So why am I chasing this thing? You, you know, know what I mean? How is Trevor Noah not happy with Trevor Noah's level of success? The world loves you. Yeah. Mm. The world loves you. you but you've there's a certain void that effort. only... Yeah. Bro, you can call only, Oprah like now. You whatever can, can call Barack now. Bro, all, you, Bill Gates. You have access to anyone and everyone. You got all the money and you still feel like something is missing in your life. Then I'm like, ah, bro. So now at 36, I'm one, you want all the, you think you want all these things. That's the other mm-hmm. thing. Then you're like, then I was like, no, man, let me just enjoy life. So now I'm still traveling around, but I just moved back to Durban. Now I'm doing things. Like the other day, I picked up my niece and nephews from school on a Tuesday. Went to watch movies. Dope. Like now I'm like living. You know what Very I mean? Dope. Yeah, but I was upset, bro. You know how expensive movies are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> the show, <laughs> man. The pop- movies the are high, dog. Yeah. yeah. Bro, <laughs> bro, I was angry the whole movie, dog. <laughs> Every time they're laughing, I was just upset. <laughs> I watch movies a lot, bro. Trust me. Dude, Even the combo, the popcorn, the popcorn, and, popcorn and, and the stuff. That's like popcorn and coke together is 120, 150 if you're gonna throw in smarties. Yeah, the smarties are whispers like you're capping 350. Dude. Then the ticket IMAX plus the glasses, you must pay for the glasses. Where? Ah, bruh. King IMAX. This is why you must become casino. <laughs> <laughs> My man, I've never been on a movie. I, I don't watch movies like top level. I watch with the normal people, you know. IMAX. Is Sterling. A, what's I'm, IMAX? It's a Bigger screen than the normal movies. And lesser people inside. No, IMAX is like the HD of movies. It's the big one. It's the one with the sound effects. The sound and yeah. the... Yeah. And the screen is the biggest Please screen. don't say 4D. Don't some seats move? Yeah. No. Yeah, there's that also, like yeah. 4D. The, the seats yes. move? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Show a movie. Got the seats all move. Why? <laughs> Of course, for the special experience. Things. Which yeah, one you want to be the first in the pure recipe? Like, I watched Avatar <laughs> like that. Yeah. And the, and the wind. And the, yeah. I watched Life of Pi. Like, at, with the at movie. IMAX, and, and an actual IMAX Indian 40. man came out the screen. An Indian. 
You're lying, man. You're lying. Those cinnamon just smell of pre hot. We just this one. For the experience. <laughs> Robbie, have you ever been in a fight, bro? Bruh, I got in a fight trying to end the fight. Mm. That was the worst, bruh. Mind your own but Also, you know, like... Uh, Ish. The, there was a guy who was trying to hit a dude, and then, I, and then I said, I said to my friend, don't worry, you can F him up. And then the guy was like, you think your friend can hit me? Yeah, what are you going to do? Then I'm like, my man, I was supporting. I was trying support for a friend. <laughs> Verbally only. How are you looking at me? Bruh, that fight. It was so have you been in a fight? No. It's it's a it's a horrible thing because your body is trying to defend itself and then you come out and you're like, because also when you watch boxing movies, you're like, ah, jab, jab. Uh, mm. I'm a man in a real fight, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no thing of jab, uppercuts. <laughs> you're just like, I'm gonna yeah, I'm trying to survive. <laughs> That's all. But yeah, no, I've seen fights. I've I've seen fights. <laughs> so what happened after you threw the comment to support? Did the guy, did jump? The guy attack you? Then the guy know. came after me, and then there was a whole fight and everything. I had to go to the principal's office. My dad had to come in. The whole thing. Was this pre or post divorce? No, this is post. This was post divorce. So I called him because I was like, ah, no one call my mother. So I called him. Then it turned out my dad played soccer with the principal, so they're chatting. It was fine after that. <laughs> nice, bro. Uh, look, man, we 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 have a lot of cheese gang out there, dog. That yes. you know, watch our podcast, and there's some of them who'd like to do what you do, bro. They, <clears throat> you know, for me, I think uh, yes, we've been bo- bro- bros and 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 boys for so long, but you inspire me, dude. Like oh, seeing you. seeing your yeah. your growth in Trust. comedy and the voice that you've developed in comedy. Yeah, right. <clears throat> and we got. We got cheese gang out there that watches, and they 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 want to do what you do, bro. So, if you could advise them, if what's the one thing you could say to to anyone watching out there who wants to pursue stand up, but not only pursue stand up, but do what you did, Rob? Because you see, when I watch you on stage, it automatically challenges me to want to do better. Mm. It's like I watch you and I go, okay, this is where the level is now. Mm, this right. is where the level is now. So not Wait. to like some someone who's just aspiring to be a comedian, to people in the game to that are really pushing and are trying to yeah, that yeah. are hungry for knowledge. What, what's what's your what's your advice to us who who want to grow and be better in this thing? What, we thank you for that, my brother. Same with you. I see you shining, dude. Vaseline, it's Vaseline. <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like com- comedy is the more you grow off stage, the more you grow on stage. Ooh, yeah. Big pause. Oh, That's life, bro. Hallelujah. Oh, if you're not living, you Jesus. have nothing to tell us. Oh, Yo. why? So, what did you? As do? much as you're working on comedy, work on yourself. That's yeah. that's what I've realized in the past five years. COVID, which was very difficult, we lost a lot of people. We lost a lot of things to it, but we also gained. Gained. There was, you know, when you lose so much, you go, "What do I have to work with?" Uh-huh. You know, those early days of COVID, where it was exciting. People were baking. Banana bread. Those first three weeks were fun. We were. What? <laughs> was baking? What, banana bread. Was a banana thing, bread bro. was a thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> are you guys? Banana bread, brother. <laughs> bro, that was the thing we did in COVID to. Th- yeah. What was going on? What's wrong? Yes. The bananas Be- were gonna go off, bro. Bananas could still go. Uh, uh, but I- bananas didn't know there was a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. What? So what was the rush? What? <laughs> what? You baking because we were in a rush. Humans were on lockdown. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we had to bake the bananas oh, it, fast. But, but the guy who transports the bananas was in indoors. Yeah, that's why. So oh. there was no one to bring the new bananas. Oh, we, the one thing we were allowed to do during lockdown was go buy groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? I, I, uh, Robbie, yes, Rob. you were saying, 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 saying I, lockdown and lockdown. Yes, but it's, it's like that's when I started like exercising, therapy, all those things. Mm. But it's, it's like you got to grow off stage to grow on stage. Simple. Ah. 
and watch comedy and study it, but then after read, bro. I don't think a lot of people read nowadays. Yeah. People get all the information from social media. Mm-hmm. Many people don't read and figure out how they feel about a thing. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Most people don't actually yeah, know how they feel about things. other people's feelings. And yeah, and they read comments, then they go, oh, this is how I should feel about this thing. No. Read and figure out what this is telling you. I oh. think that's the best thing. You know, you never like <clears throat> young comedians always ask me who to talk to or like for advice. May I always say, hey, go talk to Ravi. Because you always seem to know. Hey, you sent some horrible comedians in my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's the truth. Like, I sent everybody. I said, go to Robbie. Go talk to Robbie. Because you have, like, this uh, way of, like, summarizing or or embodying this idea of what it means to really be a comedian and yeah. then articulate it in a simple way, in, way, in a way that somebody will, will understand. Because a lot of people, they get into this thing with their own ideas. Like you say, like reading will give you more insight in whatever you're doing. And people come into comedy not knowing that. But, and like we always say, thank you. Like now, nah, I want to say thank you. And I, and I also feel like South Africa needs to know that you are one of the biggest comedians in the world from here. And no one, like I want people to actually exercise that, that thing and make it a thing. And it must be a thing that, this guy is a superstar because you are too humble. Uh, 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 busy greeting uh, uh. people at, at Melville. <laughs> <laughs> you are Robbie Collins. You are Robbie Collins, bro. You know, like yeah, and and that's what I want people to know that you you mean a lot to the industry of of humor in this country. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. And you, and you thank know you. you know what it is, Robbie. I think over the years, what's happened is a lot of people have slept on you. You know, I I truly believe you've been great for years. Yeah, but what's happened over the years is a lot of people have slept on you, and we just want to say, us at Popcorn and Cheese are not sleeping, not sleeping on, you. on you. I'm a yeah. brother. So, Thank on you behalf kids. of all of us, <laughs> here's a token of our oh, appreciation. appreciation. Oh, for real? Yeah. Ah, oh, this is awesome, bro. You know what I mean? Damn, this yeah. is great, bro. The, uh, did you give a booty little one? We had to get him a Continental. <laughs> 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 and on that He's note, like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> We'd just like to say thank you for joining us uh, as we sit with the comic of the year. Friends with Pharrell, Trevor Noah, Erica Badu, mm-hmm. Common, Michelle Obama, and of course, Tolesmo. <laughs> uh, Rob, tell us, my brother, is there anything you'd like to plug, seeing as though you are here? Oh, just follow, follow me on social media. I've got a tour coming up. Oh, I'm, nice. Yes, I've got a tour starting, starting in a couple months. And then uh, around South Africa the world follow me on social medias and and just i don't know i, I don't i have plans but i'm also just in the moment bro <laughs> now it's cool to be in the yeah. moment yeah like that's that's where I'm, I, I used to get nervous with that question a lot when i did interviews like oh what's your what do you have next yes. like, oh, i'll see what i have next because you, you know you know this is the thing is like everything it, Something I was excited about last month is now boring to me. Yeah, because mm, you're a mover. Yes, yeah, so, so it's like Same I don't I don't get too happy about like I, you reminded me that I won Comic of the Year this year. Literally, generally, because after that I went to New York and I was a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you are Tambo as the Comic of the Year, Dog. and then you that side as the Robbie. I, I'm, I think Malina. I'm always I'm always looking for discomfort. In, yes. in in trying to gain and move forward and grow like that. Once once these things are too comfortable, move. We've got to move. That's All right. Dope. In that note, we are going to be moving Titi from where he is sitting hmm. because he looks very comfortable. Uh, no, I'm joking. Titi, my brother, what would you like to plug? What was that about? Sorry. I'll man. tell you what it was about because we need to move you to be comfortable and sit here That's with what I was us trying to do. on I was trying to move it to 2050 20 event supplies where comfortability matters most. Oh. And of course, uh, it is beyond our eyes. It's beyond anybody's eyes. It's beyond the eye studios. The film set where you can come and record your podcasting needs. Film set we have a backgrounds of New York. New York. We even have a prison wall background if you'd like to re- <laughs> enact some jail scenes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh, before I go, I just want to send a big shout out to everyone that came out to PLK. Limpopo. Limpopo, PLK. First time doing a gig in Pulukwane. It looked great. Oh, oh bro, yeah. it was so much fun. We had Dope. Donald. With King, King Munada. Munada. King Munada. Yeah. Yo, Titi, Titi was like a vernacular version of what when 50 Cent comes out. 
Oh. It's King Munada. King yeah. Munada is his version of 50 Cent here. Yeah. Yeah. So big thank you to uh, Hurricane Percy, King Munada, Donald in denial, of course, the Cheese Gang, Robot Boy, Tsitsi Chumerik, the Barbaric, and everyone that came out to uh, the PLK shows. Thank you so much for your love and support. Tsitsi, is there anything you want to say? You've got a one man coming up. Yeah, um, uh, 6th and 7th of October at the Bioscope for the Four Stanley. And I want to say thank you so much to all the people that have been uh, sending me posters. So, yeah. yeah, I sent out a poster and people just kept, and people started making all these posters and say, hey, no compensation needed. I was like, oh, thanks. And then, you know, you literally people, post a new poster every Yeah, so people have been making posters every day. So I will keep posting all these posters until the show. Uh, get your Aye. tickets at the Bioscope thing and thank you so much. And Polokwane is Nehole incredible. Nehole Monatri. Robert the boy. Shout out. Yo, Flavortron, new original green means go. Hashtag salary music videos coming this week. Oh, yes. Keep your eyes locked on oh, yes. social media and on Channel O and a lot of other channels later on. Oh, yes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the corn that pops. And the cheese, that's great. We, we are, are Robot Pops. pops. And just like the tour dates coming up on Robbie's agenda, we, we are out. Which one is this one? Do you think to the show? Do you think we can get him to come? I think he'd come. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah, let's get him. Who? Trevor. I trust Trevor. Oh, and he doesn't stay far from here. From here? Yeah. Let's go fetch him now. Robo Pops. What is I'm a cheese girl and I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, I'm nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joys. Let it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.